Hi there, my name is Paulina and I'll try to guide you through this OKR tracking template. So let's start a little bit from what OKR is. You'll find a bit information in the README. So it's a goal setting framework which helps you to achieve the goals, aka okay, objectives. So objects, objectives are like inspirational goals that just give you the direction and key results. They are uh, specific time bound and quantitative metrics. So for example, if I want, um, I don't know, to become very cool, I have to finish uh, the graduate the university. So become very cool is objective and uh, graduate from the university is a key result. But usually it's also a quantitative one. So uh, that would be like graduate with uh, A plus uh, results, something like that. So here we have two tables, two separate tables. The one is about objectives. The second one is about key results. Um, so objective contain information about the state this current objective is in and there are like um, some of them but you can make them custom and change uh, them the way you use it in your company. Um, it also has a set of key results, uh, what has to be done to reach a particular objective and it also has a progress. So progress is a formula that just calculates average progress of the related key results and this is treated as an um, uh, objective's progress. If you want to have a more complicated logic, you can just update the formula. Uh, it's using very similar uh, to Excel um, formula language, so uh, you can do this, that's up to you. Um, regarding the key results, uh, they have a bit more details here, so they also have a state. You can also change it, it's a bit different from what we have on the objective level. They have an uh, objective they belong to, assignees, someone who is responsible for this particular key result. And also there are like initial value, target value and current value. So um, initial value, this is something where we start from. So let's say if our objective, uh, sorry, key result is to hire 10 developers, we like, oh, maybe like hire one CTO, we start from zero CTOs, we need to have one and one of them is hired. This is why this key result is achieved. If we want to reduce a uh, churn rate from 12, 20% to 14%, we start from 20, we have to have uh, 14, this is our current value. And each time you update the current value, uh, last updated at form field is getting updated with uh, automation. So if I change something here, this date will be changed. It will help you to see the last time uh, the key result was updated. And there is also, let me probably click on this tab. So as you see, this is a automation that updates last updated at itself. And this one is turned off for now, but you can enable it if you like it. So this one will notify assignees um, if the key result is not completed yet. And it was updated uh, last time for 40 days ago more than 40 days ago. So like it's time to um, update the key result, notification will be sent. Um, and it also has a progress. So progress in fact is also a formula. We just compares current value, initial value and target value. Uh, it shows how close we are to the completion and days uh, since uh, the update, it's also a formula which calculates based on the last updated ad when was the key result up updated for the last time. So this is the structure overview. Um, now we can go, I think, to the views that we have in the left menu. So you can look at your uh, objectives and key results on the whiteboard. Here all the cards are real ones. So you can open the objective uh, from this whiteboard and uh, you can check out inside what's going on. So every card inside has a document. So that means like you can use the markdown and explain what is this objective about, how it has to be tracked, etc. You can also, by the way, uh, choose the layout you prefer here and uh, choose how does uh, the field has to look like. So every objective inside has multiple key results and you can also have like this an overview here uh, and you can also create new uh, key results from here. So to improve product livability, we have, um, I don't know, um, raise awareness about new features. Okay, waited a new key result. Uh, once added, we can specify more details here. So I'm not sure which um, values will be here. This is why we have to reformulate. Um, I don't know, um, new features have 
to be found by 40% of users. Oh, not, 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 not dollars, but percents, my bad. Okay. And let's keep it like this. So we say that, let's say right now, only 15% of users find it and my target value is 40 and the current value is 15. Okay. So my progress is zero, which is correct. And it was last updated on August 14th because today is August 14th and zero days uh, were from the uh, last update. As you see, you can also publish notes here, like uh, maybe why it is important, what we are going to do to achieve that. You can also leave some comments, for example, if you all like um, have something to comment, in fact. Um, yeah. So once we added the key result here, you need to say that it appeared in every other view. So for example, if we go to the objectives and key result table, we will be able to see our newly added uh, key result right here. And you can also check what's going on in other uh, objectives as well. So here you have everything on the same place, very similar to what we had on the whiteboard, but now in a table because everybody loves tables. Um, you can also see the same information on the, on the board. Uh, maybe we can make the cards look bigger a bit. I think that will be a bit easier. Yep. To see, so you can see key results. They are on their uh, by their state. They are grouped by their objective. So uh, we see uh, everything here, and we see that also dynamically the progress. And now a key result, that one we just recently added uh, here as well. By the way, if you add something here, new one, I will be able to see it here as well because it doesn't matter where you add your new information, new data, right? It will appear everywhere. Um, so a new one is here as well. So that is about the consistency. Um, you can choose, yep, how does uh, it look like for you, the size of the cards. Uh, you can also choose everywhere. How do you want it to look like? I mean, you can also show more fields, the one that makes sense for you. So, and there is also one filter turned on that we just don't want to see empty rows here. So. You can also add new objective from here as well. Why not? So that will be also a nice overview. You, in fact, you can you don't have to keep all of them, right? And table and board and the whiteboard. You can just keep the ones that you will prefer to look at. And um, the last but not least is a progress overview. So this is our wonderful report. Okay, it loaded for a while, but you can see that due like with OKR framework, you you see that the success is not when 100% of everything is completed, but when 75% are completed. So um, in our case, we say like this is 75% is 0 0.75. And we see how far from this target our current key results based on their progress currently are. So we hired the CDO, 100%, hooray, we're amazing. We need to hire 10 developers, we have hired much less, so there is still a way to go. So 100% is amazing, 75% is, well, quite uh, uh, good enough. So these kind of reports you can share with others, uh, you can export it. So if you want to share, I don't know, maybe with stakeholders or you are a stakeholder and you want to share that with your team, this is a way to go. Um, and if you have a lot of um, objectives to check out, uh, this may be helpful when you have, for example, a lot of teams. In this case, these kind of views, they can be a little bit overwhelming. Uh, imagine like there are like, I don't know, 50 key results across uh, 30 or 20 objectives, right? That's quite a lot. Um, in this case, we have a smart folder. Uh, it allows you to see um, all the objectives in the left menu, like here, and you will be able to see their key results like with automatic filter applied. So if I go to the key results table under the improved product availability, I see only eight key results. If I go here, I see only key results about making development team stronger. If I want to see key results for the increased sales, I see them here. And if I create a new objective, like let's say test objective, 
I will be able to see the same table here and if I add something new uh, I will be able to see again it here as well directly connected to this uh, test objective. You can read about it a bit more in our user guide how it was configured or if you don't need such a thing for now feel free just to delete it nothing would happen to your data and maybe this is enough um, to start. Uh, if you have any questions, let me remove my face, uh, please go to the help and support. And here we have AI support. There you can ask more technical questions because this is our AI guide trained on our edit documents that we wrote manually by humans. So it, it can help you with configuring reports, with writing formulas with the correct syntax, I don't know, with creating new views. Um, and uh, if you need a bit more help, uh, or if you want to talk to the real human, then please click on this button. Uh, only me and my teammates are usually there. Our response time, I would say, like, is quite nice. You will be pleasantly surprised if you would say time zone as we are. Uh, and don't hesitate, even say hi. If you are missing some templates, please comment this video. Tell us which template do you prefer. Maybe you want to improve this one. Maybe you're missing something. So please let us know and we will be happy to help you. This is it. Thank you. See ya.